Okay, so the new hard disk is in, and we are going to update Windows 98 First Edition to Second Edition. Here's the setup screen for Second Edition, and I have my sound and color already installed, so mind you, I won't lose that. I'm just going to get an upgrade, and I will still have the sound and everything. So I accept, and the key is already in there. Copy to the C. I like that sound. And the weird thing about the CD that's in the drive, it actually has a crack in it. It's actually onto the uh, the disc image. I gotta quickly make a copy of that before I totally lose it. It still works. <laughs> this computer did have a few problems from the start that I had to uh, fix. The indicator light wasn't turning on when I hooked the hard disk up, and uh, it took a long time for it to uh, make that beep sound and start loading. Um, I don't want to uninstall Windows 98, so I'm just going to hit next. I would like a custom install. My name is Tyler Little. Um, I don't need the internet tools, I don't need the communication tools, I don't need the online services because who says I'm going to connect this thing to the internet. And as usual, the flat screen has to black out on me. It's not good treating it like this, you should have the fan behind this thing at all times. So I'm going to make this quick. System tools, yeah, 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 okay. Desktop themes, okay. And the computer name is Preserio 2200. And the computer description, small and awesome. Oops, I don't know why I had the forward slash there. Next. Next. <laughs> I just love that sound. Puts a big fat smile on my fat face. Uh, I don't live in Georgia. I don't live in Switzerland. I live in Canada, so... Startup disk, next. Cancel that. Next. And that's what it looks like. That looks really nice. Um, when you first installed Windows 98, like when you just booted from the CD, it doesn't have this. It's just a blue screen, and my black and my screen just flaked out on me again. So, this is what it looks like. You know, like this is probably the last time, or the very first time you guys are ever going to see this, or the last time. I've never really seen this before. And I gotta let the screen warm off. I mean, cool off a little bit. Um, I know it's not safe to have the cover off like that, but I don't care. Um, and it is true that the other hard disk is kind of dying out because it's having a read-write error. And like, it just doesn't work. This one here, it works just fine. Um, I don't know if the other one stopped working due to overheating or possibly because of age. Like, it's a 1998 hard disk inside a 1997 computer. And to be honest, um, when I first got this computer, it came with a 1 gig hard disk. 
and that one gig hard disk had a whole whack of bad sectors on it. Like the sectors on it were just terrible. Like you're just like when you look at this, look at the size of that hard disk, and look at the size of this casing. That's for a giant Bigfoot hard disk. This little one shouldn't even be in this computer. Now some of you might say, oh well probably that's the reason why it stopped working because it's not designed, like, it probably had too much voltage going to it. Nope. This thing has lasted me for a couple months now and I haven't had a, any problems with it, but unfortunately the hard disk died because of old age. And a little notice for you guys. Whenever you're touching a hard disk, do not touch that square right there. You put your thumb on there, the hard disk is going to spin up so fast that it just wrecks it, like it just wrecks the motor. Trust me, I had a, like I had about a box of 10 of those, like I had 10 in one box. One of the hard disks weren't good, and I put my thumb on that black square and the thing starts spinning up really 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 fast and then it just burned it out. So that's a note about those old quantum fireballs. That's what it is. It's a quan uh, quantum fireball second edition. I think that's what the SE stands for. And really when it says it's a 4.2 gigabyte hard disk, it's really not, it's actually a 3 gig. Like I hate it, that's why I hate about Quantum, it, or Quantum, I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't, um, like, they lie about how much they hold. So, this thing is possibly garbage or something, I don't know. Like I haven't plugged it in yet, I'm gonna plug it into the E-Tower and then test it out. Heck, this still has all my songs on it. And if you guys are wondering, am I gonna back all this stuff up? No. I have uh, my little mini disc right here. My DVD rewritable camcorder disc. Sorry about that, that's my chair. It says it's 2.8. Uh, on each side, there's one gig. So, top side, 1.4 gigs. Bottom side, 1.4 gigs. So that's a total of 2.8. And I can I can write almost all my songs on one side. Then on the other side, I can write what's left of my songs. And I do have an Enya CD here, so I don't need to copy the Enya songs. Because it's already on a CD and I can just copy it using Windows Media Player. Now, the weird thing about this hard disk here is that it had two operating systems on it. You guys are probably going to be scratching your head thinking, how could a hard disk like this have two operating systems on it for the size it is? Like, it's a 3 gigabyte hard disk. I have Windows XP installed on this 3 gigabyte disk. And Windows XP takes up 3 gigs. Well, after that I installed Windows 98 on it. And Windows 98 only formats the drive one time. That's it, just once. Like if you install Windows 98 on it one time and reinstall it again, it's just going to like it's going to install a new copy. It's not going to format it for you. So that's one of the bad things about 98. It does not format the drive. So there were some XP files on here. Like if you were go into the sound folder, it would have all the Windows XP sounds in there. Go to the Windows folder, there'll be one folder that would say Windows 000, another one that would say Windows. The one hard disk, I mean, the one folder that said Windows was the Windows XP folder. The other one that said Windows 000 was the Windows 98 folder. So, it actually has two operating systems on it.